Hi everybody, welcome to Lunch with the Cardinals, the daily update of Jewel Athletics for this Thursday. Remember, it's a discount day at Hillcrest Thrift Store down on Mill Street, and Hillcrest Thrift Store is our sponsor on Lunch with the Cardinals. The track and field season is winding down. Tom Eisenhower will send a small group to Baker this weekend, but he took some time to sit down with us and review the meet at S&T a couple weekends ago and the upcoming Great Lakes Valley Conference Championships, which are next weekend. Oh, we had a pretty good meet down there. Um, it was the first chance we got to see uh, S&T as just a full team, and, and Drury was down there, and Maryville was there, and, and Truman, so uh, some some schools that are very similar to us in the state of Missouri and uh, of course you know three of those being conference schools and so that's a good uh, measuring stick going into the conference meet next week. Um, Brittany Riley was the, uh, the event, the only event, event, with, event winner we had in the hammer throw um, but a lot of other good marks and a lot of a lot of good things coming out of it so um, all in all it was good meet and, and I feel good about where we're at right now. Go to the GLVC here in a, a little bit more than a week. What are your expectations going into the conference meet? Um, you know, this is going to be another one similar to the indoor where we went in and uh, just being our first year, we don't have a whole lot of expectations. More, it's just going in and doing the best we can each individual event and see what um, and be able to see what happens. You know, because indoor and outdoor are so different, they're very similar in a lot of ways. But because they're so different with the additional throws, with additional hurdle races, in the four hundred hurdles and the steeplechase. Um, it's it, it just creates a different dynamic and so you can look at numbers on a performance list but until you're there and you actually see what kind of teams these other schools have put together it's kind of difficult to say. Senior basketball player Mark Mason has a chance this weekend to attend a tryout camp for professional basketball teams looking for help both uh, overseas and here in the United States. Mark tells his story a little bit uh, as we sat down with him earlier this week. Uh, it's in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's like a pro camp. There's going to be like agents and stuff up there and pro teams and CEOs and stuff up there picking up players and stuff. So I'm just trying to go, go down there and show what I got. And hopefully it all work out. So I'm just going to leave it all in God's hands. When you say pro teams, who are you talking about? Like about overseas, NBA teams? overseas teams, like top league, te top league teams overseas in like Europe, like countries like Germany, Italy, and stuff like that, like teams over there. Ultimately, what would you like to do uh, with that tryout? Where would, where would you like to be signed? I heard Spain the best place to play, so I'm, I'm very interested in that. But wherever, just as long as it's somewhere in Europe, I'm fine with that. You know what I'm saying? I got to start. You got to start from somewhere, so just start from somewhere and work my way up. How many players do you expect to be there? And, and what do you think those guys are looking for in players? Uh, I was told it was going to be like 30, 25 to 30 players up there. And they're looking for. Uh, hard workers, leaders, they, and then they looking for people that can help their team because you never know what somebody needs. Like some team might need a point guard, some team might need a center. You never know, so you just got to go and hopefully they need the position that I play, so then hopefully it all works out. Our spring sports season winding down. Baseball's on the road this weekend, a four-game set at the University of Illinois Springfield. We'll have more about that and more Jewel Athletic News when we're back tomorrow on Lunch with the Cardinals.